My father believes that midgets come from Halifax. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why, okay? One Christmas, we're watching The Wizard of Oz, all right? And in the scene, you know where the lollipop people come greet the good witch Glenda, right? And he had just had a nap, you know? So uh, in the middle of that scene, my dad goes, you know those midge? It's like short for midgets, because he's Italian. He's like, you know those midge? They all come from Halifax. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, well, you know, they got lots of coal mines, so they need lots of short people. I'm like, Daddy, it's their, this is not Snow White, okay? They're not miners. You know what I mean? They're either on compensation or they're actors, the midgets. Like, he, he, he left a message for me at work one day, and he's like, uh, long pause followed by, uh, Sandra, this is your daddy. Can you call me as soon as it's impossible? <laughs> I never knew what he wanted. And, and, then he, and then he watched, you guys remember the ab rocker? He went and bought the ab rocker at Walmart and, he, and, he, and it broke apart, like he's trying to get fit, so it broke apart. And uh, he calls up Walmart and he goes, uh, Hello, Mr. says, here is Mr. Attilio Battalini. Can I make a suggest if it's impossible? <laughs> He's like, the pin you guys use to secure the aborocco is too small. You need a three-quarter inch pin, not a half inch pin. And then he's like, and I believe I deserve some kind of recognition or compensation for my suggest. <laughs> that, I, you know what I mean? I love that shit. I love it. So I pulled into the parking lot at the Dominion, it was at Islington and Rutherford, and I stopped because there's this woman with a disability trying to get by, and all of a sudden this like fucking a BMW SUV starts honking his horn, and he's like, move, and I'm like, I can't. And then he tries to pass me, and I'm like, oh no, you don't, right? So I took my father's Ford Crown Victoria and moved it to the left <laughs> to block him, because I'm like, I'm tough in the hood, okay? do no fuck with me. And then, anyway, so the woman like passes safely and then he just like barrels like away. Like he just passes me and I yell out my window, I'm like, you asshole, you know? So then we, we go to the front of the, the grocery store because my sister just had to go in to get lactose-free milk because we're lactose intolerant as a family. I know, it's great. Bloated times. Uh, and, uh, and then all of a sudden I see him walking towards the front door so I lower all my windows because I was ready. So he comes up to, the, up to the car and he's like, who are you calling an asshole? I'm like, you. I'm calling you an asshole. He goes, you can't just stop in the middle of the parking lot. I'm like, yeah, the woman had a disability. And he's like, whatever. He goes, learn how to drive. <laughs> and then my mother yells out, she goes, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Of shit, right? And then he's like, who taught you how to talk like that? And I took one look at my mother, I'm like, who do you think? <laughs> right? And her mother taught her, and then me and my mother like high-fived because we're like Thelma and Louise in Woodbridge. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking okay. bringing justice where it needs to go. <laughs> and, and, then, and, then, and then after that, yeah, and then he was like, and then he's like, who are you calling a piece of shit? And I'm like, do we have to go through this again? <laughs> You. We're calling you a piss of shit, right? And then, did I already say that? No, I didn't say that. Holy shit. And, and then he like turns around and he's like, you know what? He goes, whatever. He goes, go back to Woodbridge, you wop. And I'm like, we're already in Woodbridge, you moron. All right? It's pretty unmistakable when you're in Woodbridge, right guys? Like there's like cement and brickwork everywhere. You know? uh, I, I swim. I don't know if you can tell. I got broad shoulders. And uh, and so I, uh, I uh, finished my swim and I, I, you know, exited the pool much like my ancestors did. You know, like that sloppy exit out of the water, like just banging it everywhere, right? And so I go to the showers because uh, I need to shower. And there was a woman showering and I gave her a once over, okay, because I can, right? But then when I arrived at this part of her body, it just stopped me dead in my tracks because I thought I was staring into the face of an angry Chinese man. <laughs> You know those Chinese guys that you see with like tufts of hair from here to the 401? You're like, what does that mean? You know? And the more I didn't want to look at it, the more it just like sucked me in, right? Like taunting me. And then it started to talk to me. It's like, how do you reckon my hairy pussy? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about, right? I was like, how you reckon my hairy pussy? Making you feel heavy or making you feel sad? And I started to cry.
because I'd never been addressed that way before, okay? That vagina needed a trim. Like, it was all, it was all over the place. And then it got mad at me. I said, I ask you a question. How do you reckon my hair is <laughs> And then I, I bent down and I looked it straight in the eye and I'm like, if you want me to talk to you, you better trim that beard because I read lips. I 